99.9 KBAC, live and local. The Whackmaster, should yes, I say? Yes, uh, the Strap Assassin. Oh, the Strap Assassin. Reverend Theodosius Atrocious, if you mind. <laughs> yeah, so. Or just good old Uncle Ted, Uncle the barbecue Ted. star. So, well, where did, where did Uncle, how did that, how did that come to play? You know, everyone I know says Uncle Ted. It's How so did, adorable, isn't it? Well, oh, you know, I, I I travel all over this country. I've been doing so for, geez, 50 years, if you really admit my, my school sock hop concerts. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm a gregarious fool. I love life. I pursue happiness with vim and vigor and piss and vinegar. Uh, I thank God every day for my health and for being an American and to be able to pursue my happiness uninhibited and having the freedoms that are unique to this American dream, this experiment in self-government. So I hang with people who understand what I just said is self-evident truth, it's logic, and it's real common and very sensible. And that fire, that that passion for life is everywhere I go, every hunting camp, every concert. I have, I have hangouts. I have like barbecues and and and, and just little, little campfires, both literally and figuratively, every night before and after my concerts. And when I get to Billy Bob's, I think that's going to be my six thousand five hundred and sixtieth concert, something like that. I, I I I just love this stuff. So I hang with people. I hang with great Americans, cops and military heroes, and people who give to charities and in youth organizations and military organizations. Organizations and just working hard, playing hard Americans who dedicate themselves to being the asset column. And so that friendliness, whether I'm walking the streets to get a mocha or to stop at a local barbecue joint or go to a hardware store or a gun store and fondle hardware, um, I hang out with people. And about, I don't know, probably 30 some years ago, because I'm such an adorable old guy, these, these young people started calling me Uncle Ted at some kind of hunting event. And it stuck with it. It just kind of spread with a life of its own. I don't think the people on the East Coast had any idea that the people on the West Coast were calling me Uncle Ted. But I guess everybody's got a lovable, snuggable uncle. And I guess I would be that. I would say, you know what, if anybody in this world, especially in the world of rock and roll that is huggable, it has got to be you.